Good evening, guys. Thank you for joining me. Hope you're enjoying your evening. This evening, there was a magnitude 3.2 earthquake right along the edge of Lake Mendocino. Not far from Ukiah, California, USGS has it 4 kilometers south southeast of Redwood Valley, California. 173 people so far have reported this earthquake. Using Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake. Here's Lake Mendocino. This is an artificial man-made lake that was developed by the Corps of Engineers in 1958. It was built probably before they knew that the Mackinac Fault Zone ran through this area. And this is a very dangerous situation to have a large earthquake here because of this earthen dam that was made when they created Lake Mendocino in 1958. The first house I ever bought came from this area when this area was inundated and they made this as a uh, reservoir and to control floodwaters. But my house came from here and was moved over to uh, Lakeport, California years and years ago. This earthen dam if it were to collapse because of a large earthquake or flooding from the Russian River, would inundate this entire area. I found a paper. I'll give you a link below if you want to read it. But here it says, hypothetically, in the event of a total dam failure, when Lake Mendocino is filled to capacity, water would flow north up the Russian River Channel to a point north of Highway 20 before stopping and south well past the boundaries of the UVAP between Highway 20 and Capella. Topographically, the channel would keep the water confined between the bluffs and North State Street. The greatest danger would likely occur south of Capella. Inundation is predicted to occur along most creek channels from the river nearly to the base of the foothills on the west side of the valley. The main channel of flooding would likely follow Highway US 101 or State Street, whichever is further west. In the southern portion of the Ukiah Valley, the flood waters have a large land area in which to fan out both east and west of the Russian River. Although the Army Corps projects that most segments of US 101 south of Talmage Road will be underwater, the community of Talmage would likely have portions of the west side inundated. And I'll give you a link and you can re read more. This dam also has a bomb shelter built within it during the 1950s during the Cold War. And Wikipedia has information about that, but they don't talk about the threat of a dam failure during a large earthquake or even flooding. This was a strike slip earthquake. The fault moved going north. You can see the first wave of the earthquake kind of came from all oh, the south a little bit. Tension was applied or is applied um, on the on the east. I've talked about Cobb Mountain and the threat of earthquakes and how the earthquakes have increased. You know, we're having more and more earthquakes in diverse places. Let me bring it out a little bit farther here. Down over here is Ukiah. Do you know, those of you that live there, the threat of a dam failure? Do you know what areas would be flooded? Do you have a plan just in case? Any earthquake has a 20% chance of being a foreshock for a larger earthquake. 173 people have reportedly felt the earthquake. They reported it to USGS. I'm sure there's a lot more of you. Uh, did you feel this earthquake? How long did it last? Did things fall over? Did you have cracks in your foundation? How long did the shaking last? Please put that information down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please thumbs up my videos. Please stay safe. And I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.